Good morning, YouTubers, my fellow preppers and homesteaders. This is Thomas with Mr. Fix All Home and Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. It is Tuesday morning. I'm in Apex. And guess what today is? Today is the big day. I get to move my little house. Oh, yeah. There it sits. There's the other one. Well, there's mine. Lock, stock, and barrel paid for. And of course, there's the old barn that I salvaged a bunch of wood off of. The sun's really bright, so bear with me. I mean, it's peaking hard, so there might be a glare. And uh, I'm going to talk to him about those windows. Uh, he told me I can buy them, and uh, I might buy one. Not that big one. There's another one behind it's a little smaller. But there she is. Probably mount that window somewhere right along in here. You know, give it some sunshine, because right now, if I put it out there, you know, it's totally dark on the inside, so I need to get some light. You know, whether I do something on a roof, you know, some sort of uh, ceiling uh, type of thing, uh, clear uh, bubble glass up on top, or put a window in the side, I don't know. But anyway, hey guys, good morning. This is Thomas, Mr. Fix All Home and Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, today is the big day. Uh, I'm excited, I've been waiting a month to get this house moved out uh, to the land. And uh, let me just say, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do a shout out to all my new subscribers. I had a, a new subscriber uh, actually called me up yesterday and uh, told me about the 10 acres that uh, she bought in, uh, in, in Zebulon, uh, no, excuse me, Selma, North Carolina. Hey Mary, how you doing? Anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to all the new subscribers that have been viewing my channel and jumping on board and realizing that my experience is one of those that everybody can relate to. Uh, I think, uh, you know, going off grid, prepping uh, the whole concept is very tangible. In fact, I think I hear some trucks uh, coming up. It's probably the guys are here to move the building. And uh, what we got a problem with is um, there's a truck in the way. Anyway, okay, we're going to actually move the building out this gate over here. And uh, let me just make sure these guys haven't showed up. The owner of the land, Mr. Woods, he's supposed to be moving that truck out of the way. And this is where we're going to enter and exit, right over here on this side of the property. Okay, they're still not here. I just heard somebody from across the street. There's actual businesses over there. But anyway, okay, back to the building and my subscribers and my channel. Uh, I, I just want to just reach out to everyone in the prepper and homesteading community, men and women alike. And I think we all agree that doing nothing is exactly the wrong thing to do. Because if you do nothing and something happens, guess what? Uh, you're going to be in a world of hurt. You're going to be putting yourself in a situation, whether it's financial, uh, social, economic, whatever the case may be, put yourself in a situation where your plan B may not materialize. So this is for the people who already got a plan B and they're working on their plan B and they're developing their plan B. Uh, I encourage you highly to get going. Uh, on that because the bottom line is is nobody's for sure we know what the future is going to hold so we just don't know we're not sure uh, we can make a lot of speculations we can say this we can say that uh, but in reality we really don't know what's going to really happen so for years excuse me I'm a little winded uh, for years you know I've been thinking about this one thing and right now I'm at 70% of my plans is coming to uh, uh, basically come into realization. I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to feel it. Uh, all the, the mechanicals, the infrastructure, uh, the taxes, uh, you know, the zoning, the planning, you know, all the things that I had to put on the table and consider and develop the whole plan for this plan B of mine, uh, I'm starting to realize that all the planning that I did is, is working out. And it's, and it's basically just falling right in line, just like a bunch of dominoes. 
So, I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they may not have a grasp of, you know, this kind of uh, lifestyle. And, under, and, and, and in other words, you don't really know what kind of action plan that you're going to have, or even if you need an action plan. But I'm going to suggest to you, everybody needs an action plan, especially when it comes to uh, the economy, government, our rights, uh, the deterioration of our rights, uh, you know, the re, basically, uh, I don't know how to put this, uh, the erosion of our rights. I suppose that's the best word to use is erosion because uh, it, it just seems like with all this sensitivity out there and with all this, you know, crap that we have to deal with from other people just not getting it, uh, I think and I truly believe that one day all this will come to a head. may not be 5, 10, 15 years, 20 years, but I plan on being alive for another 30 years, so uh, I figure something's going to happen in 30 years, and if I'm around to see it, I want to damn sure make sure it passes me by, because I don't want to be a victim, and that's what I want you to do, America. Quit being victims. Put your plan B together. Get your stuff together. Uh, basically, let me say it this way. Get your shit together, because if you don't, one day, and, and who knows when that's going to be. And, 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 and what kind of a way it's going to come to you or come at all of us. But I really feel that there's going to be a mountain of discontent. And, and if you look at the things that's going on in Europe right now with all the, uh, you know, the immigration, you know, all these people seeking asylum, it's not, this is the sign of the times, folks. It's just, pe people are going to safe havens. They're all trying to find safe havens. And I want you to find your safe haven. Get your plan B together. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your spouses. And everybody start figuring it out. Because I'm figuring mine out. Okay, you know what to do. Subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Always leave a comment. You know I'll answer you. I'll answer every single comment. And I even call people. And people call me and I will talk to you. Okay? You guys have a great day. And this is going to be a part one of two. Uh... Of course, this is uh, waiting for all the drivers and the owners to get here to get this building moved. And then when we hit Eflin, I'm going to show you the delivery process and a setup process. Okay, YouTube, you guys have a great day. This is Thomas from this Fix All Home and Garden out of Raleigh, North Carolina, signing out. The Little House. Oh, yeah.